I can give you 35. Yeah, all right. Young Choi, the best father in the world. I mean, do we just sell it at 60 for now, or do we try to, you know, get a little extra more? To, how about have a nice 69? Stop it. Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of No Umbrellas Allowed. Now, this is one that I put eyes on quite a while back, but when I first caught wind of it, it still wasn't in English, if I'm correct, and it was still going through development, obviously. Unfortunately, I lost track of it. But, I recently, as you can see, reunited with it, and I was like, hey, look at that, the game's not only complete, but apparently in English now as well, which gives us a chance to check this out, and I'm excited about it, because this right here is a game that I would kind of compare it like a mixture of three different games. Boot, where we're living in some sort of cyberpunk dystopian future where things aren't necessarily going too good for the people. In that same vein with uh, Papers, Please. But the gameplay itself is going to be more along the lines of Dealer's Life. That's going to be the main majority of the gameplay itself. So very intriguing little title. In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about this one. And if you'd like to as well, go ahead and leave a little thumbs up. I would appreciate it for YouTube algorithm purposes. Obviously. Uh, this place has gone ablaze. Last night there was a massive explosion at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer manufacturing facilities were all lost. Very important this fixer thing for you guys to keep uh, note of. The government and the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the fixer rain project. For now, Ajik City, the last city waiting for the fixer rain, will be staying dry for a few more weeks. Maybe even a blessing in disguise, some would say, huh? And also, awesome pixel art for this game as well, as you'll soon see. Hey, are you dead? P -p Please help me. Shush, an AVAC guy is coming. I'm Dalpang Jo from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. I just heard a strange... Oh, uh, look at the sky tonight. <laughs> More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Wait, is he from the Institute? Oh, no, no, this is, this is my son. He, he's had weak legs ever since he was a child. Apparently I'm uh, Jimmy Balmer. It's normal for him, don't worry. Do you need help? No, no, everything's fine. Hmm. What happened? What did you do to me, dog? Hey, you're awake. The doctor said your face had the worst injury, so he covered it with bandages. Oh, good. You can take them off in a week, but he's not sure if your face will be the same as before. Oh man, I was such a good looker before too. Ah. Uh, I'm Darcy, just an old timer who owns a second hand shop nearby. And from this moment on, you'll be my son, Bob. I know you're no ordinary fugitive. And Avak will keep track of you as you showed up right after the accident. So, after you get back on your feet, you can manage my store pretending you're my son. Bob. That's suspicious. And so we begin here with day one. And as I've mentioned, there's going to be, you know, things to do in between our, you know, pawn shop working and learning stuff out in the city itself. So there's a narrative and there's also going to be intertwining the narrative into the actual pawn shop gameplay itself. But for now, let's uh, go forward here. Hey, you knew you, aren't you? You got to pay a fee to pass through here. What are you staring at? Looks like you really are new here falling for this crap. Beat it! Before I really make you pay. And as I understand based on the description of the game as well, or at least what the game insinuates, very important for us to, you know, 
take our time here because we'll learn things about uh, the customers as well. So we could actually, the information that we get here in this part of the game, we could then use it for our, you know, pawn shop schemes, I suppose. Dossie's son is back in town. Yeah, that's me, Bob. Kitty cat. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Can somebody tell me if that's supposed to be Chinese or Korean? I know it's not Japanese. It might be Korean, though, isn't it? It feels a bit more familiar to the signs I see around my hood. And here we are. Start working, Darcy's. Hi, I'm Hugh. I'm an oldie who's been working here for 10 years. And you are? Well, you look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's second-hand shop. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit this shop from me. That is why I picked you up from the beach. Avax has been pestering me about his whereabouts, and I needed to stand in for Bob, so it's kind of beneficial for him, too. Like, it's not just out of the kindness of his heart, I suppose. Yeah, after all that time, now they're looking for Bob. Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? Th that's not gonna happen. It's been almost ten years since he left. By the way, this one here is Hugh. It's got a mount on it, but it'll be of help. Ha! <laughs> now, let's start discussing what you're doing here. You are going to both buy and sell things. And you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the Citizens' Discourse Data Rater. I did it so I don't have to care about AVAC in here. The side effects, just as Hugh said, customers all get real shameless as soon as they come in. Anyway, today, I'll teach you how to negotiate prices when buying things. That's where to start. When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept, but still make your profit when resold. So, you can't just start yelling out prices. You have to appraise the item first. When it comes to appraising things, I use cards. Two hours later. By the way, I forgot to mention that you owe me. Fixing you up costs 500 V, and I gave you 1000 V as seed money. So you owe me 1500 V. I don't like to split payments, so pay me back to the total amount at once. I'll take 15 Vanna per day. Oh, they're called Vanna. As interest. You should pay the debt as soon as you can for your sake. <laughs> Alright, Tony Soprano. Oh! Good luck then. Have a great day, my dearest Darcy. You're gonna still hang out, right, robot? I need a little bit of a backup here. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the Association of Victims of, yeah, AVAC. They broadcast like that every day. The association will stay closer to you than ever until Fixer rains down again. AVAC will always be at Jig City's side. Let's win the war against greed together. Thank you. <sighs> Alright, here's the first one. You're new here, aren't you? Yeah. Does Darcy have a problem managing his part-time workers? The last guy was a nightmare, though. I'm not sure if I should click on you, because sometimes you automatically, yeah, go, and sometimes I click to go, it's weird. So how good are you? Do you know anything about appraisals? Hold on, hold on. This is Bob. He's not just some part-time kid. He's Darcy's second son. Anyway, take a look at this. My daughter gave me this, gave this to the man who used to be her father. Used to be? Yeah, yeah people expect too much from me. I'm divorced, living with that man meant nothing but a threat to my daughter and me. That man would have taken my daughter and me to AVAC someday. I heard he's doing some kind of solo protest these days. I guess he never changes standing against AVAC like that. Anyway, what's written on here is removable, so don't worry about it. Bob, why don't you start with 35V? What's what you want me to do over here? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's fine, sure. Trophy. Shortcut to raise one's self-esteem. Plastic. Recyclable. The price goes up when it's meant for collection. In perfect condition. All right. I can give you 35. Yeah, all right. Young Choi, the best father in the world. And hey, you should get your hue repaired or something. Yours is so rude. Hues aren't even supposed to talk back to their owner like that. Okay, so showcase, huh? Ah, uh -huh. we even have a recommended one too. That's pretty neat. This is actually pretty awesome, dude. Okay, um, last chance. It's the last chance. We appraised it at 60, bought it at 35, 
I mean, do we just sell it at 60 for now, or do we try to, you know, get a little extra more to it? A little, 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 a little bit more. Like, uh, like, a, like a nice little... S how about how a nice 69? Stop it. Er, uh, hi, you're Darcy's son. The one who came back from Bluebird? Uh, can I sell this? I got it when the cafe first opened. Isn't the grand opening too much for just a cafe? There aren't that many items in the showcase, huh? It seems like you've shut down your business. There's a there's a nice statue right there for 69V. Uh, we got the mindless mindlesso mug. Let's see here. Can be used if you don't have fins, right? Very little influence on the price, because it's made of clay. And fairly damaged, unfortunately. Always surprised by 60%. Oh. Love mindlesso. Not too good, I would say, huh? Uh, let's see. How about a fiver? Let's find some middle ground. So, what do you would you say to seven? Seven. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's gonna go six next one, but fine. Yeah, sure. As long as I got to sell it. Anything to say? I'm gonna put this on sale. No? Okay. No, no, hold up. You, you, is it, I was gonna put something on sale. Yep, this is a second-hand shop. Oh, sorry, I didn't know anything about this town. Ah, are you from another city? Have you escaped the fixer rain? No, I was studying abroad and just came back to find my friend. Then why are you here instead of your friend's house? There's an issue, and I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. Anyway, I'll come by this evening, so... Please wait for me and don't sell it. <laughs> Lodi's from other cities are so naive. Are you telling me to do it? To sell it? Is that what you're telling me to do, dog? Don't you dare. I'm just browsing. Hello and welcome to... Ajik Ajik. We have two new stories coming right up. Oh, news time. Oh, good. My TV at home is broken. First stop, AVEC has launched an investigation of the fire at the Citizens' uh, Kari. Yeah. Right? The investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. It's obviously arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Whoever set that place on fire, I'm totally behind them. Next stop, Professor Yongji Choi is staging a solo protest against EVAC. Oh, that's the guy from the statue! He argues that the lack of clear standards, or what it is, isn't an avarice crime, will cause huge confusion. That's the guy in the statue that we bought. He also claims EVAC is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all talking no action? Why can't he do something real like that arsonist? Yeah, I wonder who that was. However, Avac countered, if we set clear-cut laws, many will find ways to get around them. The rules must be ambiguous and penalties must be harsh to make the citizens behave. Ah, it sound, the sound's not working. I told Dazia to at least get some, a somewhat decent TV. Citizens of Ajik City, the Bunker of Freedom is opening its doors once again. Ah, the Bunker of Freedom's opening again. It's gonna get loud around here. To let as many citizens as possible avoid fixer rain, we have lowered the entrance fee. Now, the last time they said that, they charged 100,000 V. Shh. The new entrance fee is 25,000 per citizen. 25,000? This is fantastic. I can hide from fixer for 25,000? Of course, only pure Floatius can enter the bunker. That goes without saying. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be rooting for all of you floaties. Ah, the citizens of this Corsetto is still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out for what they say because of Ava. But the CDD record is blocked in here, right? Oh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. I won't need to stick to the silly fixie pension anymore. I'm not gonna miss this. You wanna buy something before- No, he's, he's saving his money, I guess. He's all excited. Avax gonna catch up to him before that. 
But they didn't mention one thing. I'm curious if they'd charge you extra for bringing Hughes. Can't you ask around for me, Bob? I want to go to the bunker, too. I don't want to be left with fixies. Oh, Darcy's back. Everything going all right? Of course, Darcy. Did you miss me? Everything seasy still, huh? Hang on. What is that rock in the storage? Guess what, Darcy? That's a moon rock. Then maybe you can make some money by selling it. Oh, it's, it's, it's not ours to sell, though. Where'd you get it? Some lady just came in and asked us to keep it for a few hours. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she'll come back in a few hours. If she's that stu- I mean, <laughs> if she's in a situation to ask you that. I'm pretty sure that AVAG is after her. We'll make it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Come on. This is a hard one. <laughs> this is a guy that I'm still technically alive because of. No, oh, sorry, dog. You can't. I, mean, I know you saved my life, but I know I can't. Oh, and he's unliking that. Looks like I brought the stubborn one. Fine, fine. Darcy doesn't say, but she must have hurt his feelings. Is that a bad thing, Hugh? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do. I uh, kind of wanted to, but at the same time, I didn't. Um, hi. This is Darcy's, right? I thought it was the wrong place seeing you here. Um, I like to sell this here. Do you like movies? I'm <laughs> just wondering. You may dream deep. I thought you closed down your business recently. I don't see a lot in your show. It's enough there, okay? Just just don't look at the rock. I can't sell that. Uh, totem from a film. It's a spinning top. Don't overthink the spinner's intention. What is that a reference to? I feel like I, I, I should know this, but I, I'm blanking on it. What's, the, what's... Somebody knows it, right? Can somebody let me know who this, what, the, what the reference here is? Don't overthink the spinner's intention. It's a spinning top. You may dream deeper. I am going to go here with the... Uh, Give you a, give you a fiver. I think six is fair b for both of us. I'll do it only because you know I I do want to fill up that showcase. So fine, you got it. Oh hey, I Moonrock lady. <laughs> do I know you? Of course. Thanks so much. I could tell at first sight that you're a really nice person. Mm hmm. Wish you have a great evening, then. Should I have stolen that moon rock? Should have stolen that moon rock, I guess. And of course, she didn't even mention anything about a storage fee. Yeah, I was hoping for a little something. Like, hey, thank you for doing this. Here, have this at least. Hey, how's it going? I'd like to show you something. Leather wallet. I liked its color, but now I don't. Talk quietly, and you imagine how painful it is for this wallet. <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess that works. That's fine. We knocked it down at least. Yeah, Why don't you just knock it down a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, hi. Uh, this is Darcy's, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, you're at the right place. It's, it's Darcy's. What do you got? It's super soft. Cats will never roll out of it. It's a super soft cat bed. I want something like that, too. I mean, I went for 25 for the 41, so... Well... Two hours later... There you go. Thought long and hard about that one, didn't you? Alright. Let's see. Where is it? 41. Make this one in the... 49 margin. Bob, this is Nari Joe. She's your fake niece. You mean he's my fake uncle? Oh, okay. Why would Bob leave Bluebird for a hellhole like this in the first place? Hey, you. If you're dreaming about inheriting the shop, don't even think about it. Because there's no seat for a bogus son like you. And this place is supposed to be mine once my grandpa passes away. Hmm. Comforting. Now, cut the crap and buy this cup. Why do you keep bringing garbage like this? Do I have to explain? Do you have a drug habit or what? Why don't you just sell your paintings? You have tons of them. 
Come on, do you think I'd sell my pieces to a place like this? Please, think before you open your mouth. Read whining and take this cover. That's a special offer for you? 90 V? No. Nari the genius paint. No way, no, no, I said no way. It's like someone needs a lesson. Excuse me, are you threatening me? And let me make this one thing clear. The shop is soon to be inherited by me. If you ruin it, I'll crush you like that hue over there. Well, how could you say something like outrageous to me? Anyway, once my grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll handle it himself. But he's the one who taught me not to be a ding-dong about braces. You have to stay strong, Bob. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Lovely lady. Oh, how much is that trophy? Oh, hey! It's a uh, 69 Sounds reasonable, I'll take it. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Finally a sale! Starting to worry, I was like, what, what, what am I doing wrong here? Breaking news from Ajik. The Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes is still looking for four missing persons. After the fire broke out at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute, all missing are men in their 30s, including an accountant worker, Sang Suan, Bok Bei, and Ji Su Cha, who's been working as a researcher at the, at the Institute. An experiment participant's young Doe are missing as well. This is Sai Wo Hu, Ajik News. You don't need to avoid my gaze. I don't care if you're one of the four missing persons. Just don't cause any harm to my Darcy. The leather wallet in the showcase, how much is it? Hey! Just give me 45. Hey, yo, all right! Did we actually, are, are we actually over, are We have we made a profit finally? <laughs> I think we're at 16 over a thousand that we started off with. I, I made 16 V, Doug. Come on, Darcy. I was with him the whole day. Yeah, and he's still here with us. By the way, there's a thing you have to do. Next Monday, Avec will come to check your identification, so you have to make a fake ID card by this Friday. Fortunately, there's a man who can make a fake IDs. He lives in the same building as you, right above your room. Visit him after work since he sleeps during the daytime and works at night. Oh, sounds like me. He will ask for 800 V for making a fake ID. If you can afford it, visit him right after this. Darcy, what if our new Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well, then Avec will come to take my fake son away. Oh, are you closed? Yep, sorry, we are closed. Then, what about this gentleman here? He's the owner of this place. Oh, is he? Oh, by the way, is this a, uh, is this a theme here? Theme? What theme? To wrap up an employee's face to make him look like a mummy? Or did he just get involved in some terrible accident? Nah, <laughs> just, just kidding. Uh, have a good evening, then. Did he eavesdrop in that conversation? No, I don't think so, but So, let's forget about him. Anyway, just make sure to get your fake ID by this Friday. It's for yourself. I wrote it in the calendar, too. The small one behind me. Huh? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Paid 15 to Darcy? <laughs> yeah? Dear citizens of the zoo, oh, I missed the first part. The forecast for tomorrow is sunny in the morning, but rainy in the afternoon. As you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thank you. Because of the fixed ring. Now I understand the title. It just dawned on me. Wow. Because I think I'm in the bottom one. Who's there? Ah, Darcy sent you. Money first, 800 V. Good, your name's Bob Joe, huh? I'll, say, uh, I'll send it to you Monday morning. Check your inventory then. It'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now, go away. Alright, well at least we took care of that. Uh, slightly broker, but at least that part's done. And I think this right here will actually end our day, I think, and get us saved up. Do you know who the guy next door's son is like? A little, a little bit of eavesdropping here. Finish that. So it's old so we have a couple items left. We get a little rundown of the day as well. And we go to sleep. And I guess this would save us, right? Yes. Perfect spot for us to wrap up, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been No Umbrellas Allowed. If you did enjoy, do let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see a bit more, leave a thumbs up as well. It definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm these days. More so than ever, apparently. So, 
just for the overall support of the channel, definitely go ahead and just leave a little comment and thumbs up. And if you'd like to see a bit more, do let me know. If there's enough interest in this, I could definitely come back to it. I'm already digging, like, everything involved in the gameplay and also the nefarious stuff that's going on here in the background with this uh, civilization. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.